In this video, we will discuss a simple yet useful feature that is supported by Python, the pass keyword. Python introduces pass as one of the keywords which is very useful and comfortable when you use this pass statement along with the control structures or classes or with functions. Though pass is introduced as a keyword, pass itself can be used as a statement and it indicates that there is no operation in Python. When you execute a comment statement, then the Python interpreter ignores the comment statement. But unlike the comment statement, this pass statement is not ignored by the Python interpreter, but even after executing the statement, it results in no operation. When the statement is resulting in no operation, then what is the use of such a statement? So you might be wondering about that, right? So now let's have a look at the use of this pass statement. This pass statement is useful when you do not have any idea about the implementation of the function or a class or a control structure, then you can use this pass as a placeholder or the filler statement. And in the future, whenever you would like to implement the code of the function or the class or the control structure, then you can replace this pass statement with the actual implementation. So that is how this pass statement can be used as a filler statement and this can be used with either the control structure or with the functions or with the classes. Now let's look at some of the examples of using this pass keyword with the help of some code snippets. Now let's assume that I'm going to implement a control structure, so which is a while control structure. So now I don't have any idea about what I need to implement as part of the while structure. So for the time being, I don't understand what has to be implemented. But I would like to execute the rest of the code. So by using some filler statement, I would like to execute this part of the code. Then what I can do is I just use the pass statement as a filler statement and I can very well execute this control structure. I, I can use the pass statement as a filler statement and I can execute this code very well. And whenever I got an idea of what has to be implemented as part of the while loop, then I can simply replace this pass statement and I can simply write my code. So now if you observe, the pass statement is replaced with the actual code. So that is how pass can be used along with the control structures as a filler statement. Now let's see how it can be used along with the classes. So if you consider this class definition, so I don't have any idea of what has to be implemented as part of this class definition. Then what I can do is I just declare the class name and then so instead of defining the entire class, so I just use the pass statement. So that is how it can be used along with the classes also. So now let's see how it can be used with the function definitions. So pass statement can also be used with the functions. So to when you don't have any idea of implementing the function details. So here instead of defining the function body, I just used the pass statement. So here you can observe that even if you don't have any implementation details, so this code can be very well executed. So that's the beauty of using this pass statement. So later on, whenever you got the idea of what has to be implemented as part of this function body, so you can simply replace that pass statement with your actual code. So that's how pass can be used as a filler statement. So with the control structures, with functions, even with the classes also. Now I hope you understand, so when you can use the past statement as a filler statement in Python. So thank you, thank you for watching this video.